Hi, and welcome to WordPress plugin series. My name is Axel Mulat, and this week I'll be show you how to set up the all-in-one WP Security and Firewall plugin to your WordPress self-hosted site. We already set up the Jetpack plugin, and Jetpack has uh, security features, but your site definitely need advanced more security such a database security file system login security firewall and many more this plugin is very very popular and as you see five star ratings before we get started please subscribe to this youtube channel to get more great videos like this Okay, go to your admin dashboard and go to plugins, add new, and we'll be install this plugin and click install now, all in one WP security and firewall and click activate. Okay, let's get started to secure this website go to this section this section comes from the plugin go to dashboard first and as you see they have a meter here your site security strength will be increase that meter okay go to settings first and this is the home page of the plugin and there have a section here security strength meter security points breakdown and so on let's get started to settings and we'll be config the important tab on this plugin in general settings uh, thank you for using blah 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 back up your HD access file i already back up this site every week using the dropbox wp back up your wp config file and go to this wp version info and first we'll be hide the wp meta info check this okay what's this go to your site and page view source and control F in your keyboard and find this this content is the WP generator meta info so we will be hide that will be hide this content and save settings and we'll be reload this and let's find it again and now the generator info is gone because we check this option okay let's go to users account if you if your username is admin you must change that username don't be admin user because hackers you will be guess your login page using the admin name username you must edit your username click this and edit your unique username and the display name i did not config this in my site so we'll go to password and your site must have a strong password will be try say my name this is variability so you must add a uppercase and uh, any special character like that number and like that your password must be very strong like this adding a number and special characters don't use a very easy to crack password like all all lower caps like that that is very easy to the hackers okay will be one by one this section is your login okay login lockdown section 
this section must be enable this feature if the bad guy trying to attempt your login admin page if they mistake three times the ip address will be locked out to your site for 60 minutes and you can increase this if you want and you can check this check will be check the features guys what i'm using to my site axelmulat.com which is no problem at all we don't need to check this all okay save settings and i will be not using these features in my site so leave it and we'll be go to users registration if your site is has a user registration you can check this but in this site has not user registration so we'll be leave that and we'll be go to database security this is very very important okay this section is important database security and we need to change the database prefix table and as you see wp we didn't change this in my course wordpress tutorial for beginners now we need to change this go to your php my admin and this is the default table prefix name wp if we save this this table prefix will be changed wp is a vulnerable to the hacker so we need to change check this check and before that just back up your database i already back up my database using dropbox check and change db prefix oop it's not working what happened reload okay just reload guys i'm afraid of that okay let's try again try you can try this if you want try again like i said guys back up your database just reload again okay it's working now the okay let's reload this reload control f5 now the database prefix is changed to this value let's check the site if it's broken or not i believe not okay the site is good not broken okay we're done on this okay we'll go to file system security on this section file system security your wordpress files and directories must be in the right permission for example on this file wp-config the current permission on this file is 0644 and this folder is 0755 and the recommended permission is 0755 and also 644 which is no problem in my end if in case in your side if this file in your side for example is not set to the right recommended permission you can change this permission using the file manager or filezilla for example go to your file manager and this is the wp config right click change file permission and you can able to change this numbers using this checkbox see and save change permission okay and we'll be go to firewall and this section is important to basic firewall check this don't check this guys this section there have a important function of this section and check this block access to debug log file save settings and we'll be go to additional firewall rules this check this disable index view check this check this proxy no comment using proxy no bad query string to your url and check this check all save additional firewall settings okay 
and go to this section and check this 6G and 5G internet bots no fake bots access to my site save and uh, prevent hotlink this function guys will be not access your images in the other site and web hosting oop i forgot to check check in save settings uh forgot this section guys i didn't use th this section and root force okay on this section rename login page you can able to rename your admin login page by default is wp hyphen admin you can change this on this field i try this section guys four years ago and after i changed the admin page it caused redirect errors so i i roll back my site and for me this section is not necessary if you want you can try be sure back up your wordpress site in database before trying this section and we'll be leave this section and go to login captcha this is important section check this we will be add a login captcha custom login we don't have a custom login form check this for lost password for captcha save settings okay go to spam prevention okay spam prevention i'll be use the discuss plugin on my comment section in the future so it won't necessary to check this if you use a native comment form wordpress you must check this to prevent spam comments and we'll be check this because sometimes i receive a uh, spam bots comments from the unknown ip address okay 10 10 body press scanner i didn't use this feature If your WordPress site you want to turn to under construction in the public page, you can check this enable and you can type your own content here and click save and we'll go to miscellaneous. In this section, copy protection, you can able to disable the right click mouse function in the public page. Just check this in save. And I can't do that guys because I already have a protection plugin on my content. Okay, let's go to dashboard and let's see the score. Okay guys, as you see the security strength meter is fine. The score is 480 and the current site score is 230. This is very good. Okay okay by the way this function is modifying your ht access on your wordpress site let me show you this is the ht access of the icraft wp.com and as you see there have a comment here all in one wp security section this section modify your HD access and as you see okay will be if you want to block somebody's IP address you can go to blacklist manager scroll down and enable this check enable IP or user agent blacklisting paste the blacklisted IP address here and this is the bad guys copying my content over and over again so I paste here too save settings and now guys let's see the captcha and the admin login I'll be logged out and now I am logged out and this is the admin login page and as you see there have a new field here from the WP security plugin the captcha 
enter your username, password, and the uh, answer on the captcha, and log in back to the admin. Now, guys, if you have a question, just fill in the comment box section, and I'll be response as soon as I can. And don't forget to subscribe this YouTube channel because I release a new video every Thursday. Please like and share this video to other people you know, especially in social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus as well. And thank you very much for your support. See you next Thursday, guys. Bye for now.